Hey guys, it's Tanya with Thrifty Treasures, and today I am bringing you my vinyl um, record slash album haul that I picked up a couple weeks ago. Um, so I picked these up from a thrift store around my house, and I only paid 49 cents each for each record that I got. So now keep in mind, I have not done a ton of research on these records yet, So, but they're all going to go on eBay. Um, I could list them on Amazon if I wanted, but my experience in the past with listing records on Amazon is they're long tail and very slow moving. So they're probably just going to go on eBay. And if I wanted to, I could also list them on um, Etsy, but uh, I've not been doing a ton of Etsy lately, so these will probably all go on eBay. Okay, so I have a ton. We'll just have to see how long this ends up being. If it gets to be too long, I might have to make it a part two because I have a really big stack of them. <laughs> But before I forget, I wanted to show you guys how I mail my records. So I have this box right here. And as you can see, it's perforated right here. So that's if you want to ship more than um, one, you can make the box bigger. Or if you just want to ship one, uh, then you can uh, just fold it down on the very first one if you want to just ship one, one record. So, um, and I bought these on Amazon, and I will uh, put the link down in the description box below if you guys want to get some uh, for yourself. Coco, no. <laughs> okay, so the first one. UB40. So this says the singles album. Now this one, I did actually happen to look at a little bit. I didn't find one on eBay just like it, but um, it says it was made in Great Britain. So maybe the import records will do a little bit better. It's been a long time since I've sold records on eBay. I mean, I've gone through that stage before and uh, they sold out or I might still have a couple up, but I, I want to get all of these listed. So records are just fun. They're kind of like nostalgic, right? Like I was around, I'm so old that I know. <laughs> uh, whenever I was a teenager, I used to buy uh, the records and then I was like even around when the cassettes first came out, like first time ever. <laughs> so, um, and yeah, and I still have a, um, I have a record player slash cassette player slash um, VHS player, not VHS, what am I thinking? Not VHS, I meant to say um, 8-track. 8-track and um, it plays the radio and it plays CDs. So, and it's, I think it's called Crosby and I bought it at, um, I think I bought it at Target or Walmart. I can't remember, but it was only about $100. So if you guys want to spend some old records, uh, you can still, you know, buy record players brand new in the store. So anyway, the next one, ZZ Top Fandango. Now, interesting little uh, tidbit of information about ZZ Top. They actually live around me, or they used to. I always heard that they lived out in San Leon, Texas. So, and that's probably about, you know, 15 minutes down the road from me. So, and I did see a car the other day. It looked just like ZZ Top's car. It was the red one, like they used to use in their videos. Except it didn't have that, like, yellow, like, I don't know what they were, like a, like a lightning bolt or something on it. But it was solid red in it. And I immediately thought of the ZZ Top guys. But um, I don't even know uh, if that's true anymore. But And, and I'm not sure who put that price on there either, but <laughs> I looked it up and um, I might be able to get about $25 for this one. So the next one is the Human League, Dare. Uh, I looked at this one, it said 1981, I haven't done a ton of research yet. Here is Simply Red, picture book, love Simply Red. Their songs are amazing. I love that song, uh, Money's Too Tight to Mention. And Holding Back the Year, some of my favorites. And then I got this one too. Um, let's see. Kevin Rowland and Dexie's Midnight Runners to Rye. I've never heard of this one. So, um, yeah, I don't really, if you guys know anything about this one, let me know. So, never heard of that one. But I've heard of this one, Blondie. <laughs> um... So this one's called Eat to the Beat, and I haven't done any research on it. What's that say? Oh, it says nice price. That's weird. It says nice price right there. So um, the funny thing about these records, whenever I was buying them, I had picked up a whole bunch of them, and I paid, and I was on my way out the door. And then uh, 
I saw one of the workers bringing out some more, so I had to go over there and look. <laughs> so I found a whole nother stack, so I had to go get back in line again and wait. But yeah, I couldn't help picking them up. I mean, for only 49 cents each. And, you know, I figure I'll sell them for a minimum 10 bucks each, if not more. Well, hopefully more on a lot of them. Okay, so here's one. Uh, Paul Young, No par Parlez. No, I've never heard of that one either. But yep, got this one. Um, never mind the Bullocks. Here's the Sex Pistols. This is the only one I actually have already got up on eBay. I did a little research and I ended up listing it for $80 uh, or best offer. So if you guys want this, go on eBay, make me an offer. <laughs> I'm not going to be picky. Like I said, I'm not into hoarding stuff. I just want to get rid of it. So um, next one is Jim Krause. Krause. Not sure how you say that. You don't mess around with Jim. Uh, I've never heard of this guy either, so not sure about that. Uh, here's another one by him. I'll probably lot those together on um, eBay. This one is the Age of Consent. Oh, the Bronski bead. <laughs> so um, that sounds familiar to me, but I just can't place it. <laughs> Okay, here is one called the House Martins Caravan of Love. It says it's a five track, 12 inch single. Never heard of it. There's the back side. Oh, I've heard of this one. Frankie Goes to Hollywood. <laughs> uh, tr two tribes. So that's really neat. Let's look at the 1984. I'm excited to sell these, you guys, but it's just so time-consuming doing all the research that's involved with it, right? So here's one called Surprise Surprise by Mezzo, Mezzo Fort. That's some uh, cool art there, but I've never heard of the band. So... Uh, looks like it might have been produced in Belgium. Like I said, I'm not by any means a record expert. <laughs> so um, this one is called Madness, One Step Beyond. I've not heard of this one either. Bob Dylan, Desire. Love Stevie Nicks. So this one, Stevie Nicks, Belladonna. It's so funny, it reminds me, um, I know I told you guys I had recently watched all of the um, uh, American Horror Shows, uh, and in the one called Coven, Stevie Nicks makes a cameo. <laughs> so uh, that's a real good one. You guys got to see that. Here is the Go-Go's. Loved the Go-Go's. Vacation. I don't know. I might have to keep this one. Uh Dan Fogelberg, Home Free. And here's the Beatles. Real excited to find this one. Let's look inside this one. So it's just got a little black sleeve. Um, let's see what the year is on this. What, Koki? I'm not seeing a year. Why not? Oh, 1979. So that's cool. I bet you I can get some money for that one. I hope. So I'll have to do some more research on that one. And also, when I first saw the records, the whole reason I even looked, because I was over looking at the books, and um, this guy was down there on the ground, like going through the tub of records, and I thought, what is he looking at? Like, is there some good stuff in there? <laughs> But yeah, he made off with some good stuff before I got a chance to look at it. I was talking with the girl at checkout, and she was telling me that some guy had just bought a bunch of records. She said that he bought a bunch of um, Bob Marley. So I love Bob Marley. I was so bummed I missed out on getting those. But I still got a bunch. So the next one is called The Best of Bread. I've heard of this band, but I've never like listened to their music. Here is Seals and Crofts, Greatest Hits. Can't say that I know who that is. 
I know who Billy Joel is, song, um, Songs in the Attic. Got another ZZ Top. I'll probably lot these, uh, lot this with the other one, Fandango, for um, eBay. Always like to sell in lots because it saves me some time listing items and it helps me to get rid of uh, more inventory faster. And we have here a Boston, love Boston. So this one says 1978. You're probably wondering why I have it at the eBay screen. I was gonna look up some of the albums. So if I come across a good one, we'll have to look it up. Okay, so here's the Clash, Combat Rock, love the Clash. Might have to keep this one again for me. We'll just see. I have a lot of the Doors albums. Um, I love Jim Morrison and the Doors. Oh goodness, what's this one? It looks like David Bowie, but it says Fergal Sharky. Never heard of that. Uh, let's see. Produced by David A. Stewart. Fergal. Mm -mm, I don't know that group. 1985. Next one is U2 under a bloody red sky. Love U2. Um, dire Straits, Brothers in Arms. Oh my gosh, I'll still have a big old stack. Uh, time Pieces, The Best of Eric Clapton. You know what? This one's empty. Empty. Wah, wah. Shame on me for not checking. So I just ate 50 cents. <laughs> and that's a good one too. Oh, 11 minute work. Sorry, Koki, I wasn't going to hit you, girl. Um, another Clash, same exact album. Uh, here we have Steve Miller Band, Fly Like an Eagle. <laughs> um, Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young, so far. I am going <clears> to <throat> set these down on the ground because I do not want my table, my little TV tray here to break. Oh, okay. Next one is another Steve Miller band, Book of Dreams. Again, I'll probably lot that. Welcome to the Pleasure Dome. Well, I cannot think who this is right now. I'm sure it's somebody I should know. Here's some inside artwork there. So that's neat. Interesting. <clears throat> This one says the Boomtown Rats Retrospective. David Bowie. Love David Bowie. Or should I say loved? Uh, Joe Jackson, Night and Day. Little Chicago. The Police. Love the Police. Meatloaf, bat out of hell. I never really got into meatloaf. Um, Elvis Costello, my aim is true. This one says Howard Jones, dream into action. Pat Benatar, I love Pat Benatar, get nervous. Uh, I think this one is, who is this one? Point of no return. Who is this? Does it say Kansas? Does that say Kansas? I think it does. Oh, well, if I'm wrong, you guys are telling me, right? Huh. I don't know. Okie dokie. I do not recognize this guy. Oh, it's Dan Fogelberg. That's interesting uh, artwork there. <laughs> okay, let me make sure I'm still recording. Okay, the next one is Simple Minds, Once Upon a Time. Now here's another minute work. And this one does have the album inside, so that's good. 
12 minute work. Another Pat Benatar to create a lot. And the last one, finally down to the last one, is Elton John's Greatest Hits. Um, oopsie. Not now. Okay, so let me pick out a couple for us to do um, some research on real quick. And I want to find that Beatles one. I think it's down here. Let me see if I can find it real quick. I do remember looking up the Clash uh, Combat Riot Rock, and that one really was not worth anything. I was surprised. Okay, so here is the Beatles one, 1979. So let's look on the, uh, pull up the inside again. And I don't even really know how to do the research on this one. Do you think it's called? I guess the album's called Hey Jude. Okay, so let's look it up. Okay, so let me come over here. Okay, Hey Jude, the Beatles, the vinyl. Oops, I spelled vinyl wrong, didn't I? Oopsie. Let me fix that. Final record. Okay, my little MacBook's a little slow. Oh, well, heck fire. It doesn't look like they're going for that much. Okay, so what I do, this is how I usually search, because I have, like I said, I like to know right off the bat if I have something worth any money. So I go to the sold listings, and then I'm going to sort highest first. Okay, so there's one. It's an, uh, it says rare UK export LP on Apple. I'm not sure. You know, I guess a lot of times with the records, it all has to do with who produced the album, um, where it was produced, how old it is, all these different factors. Uh, so let's see. I know that most records have like an identification number. I'm sure they call it something else, but it's like a few letters, then dash. Okay, so this one says P PCS7184. Uh, so let me try punching that in and see if it makes a difference. So let me go back up here. Okay. PCS7184. Ooh, okay. Well, that's a little bit promising. Maybe I can get $30 for it, but that was in the UK where that sold. Um, like I said, a lot of these records might be uh, imports. So I'll have to check that out a little bit farther. Um, at any rate, I hope that you guys enjoyed my record haul. And um, please like the video and share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.